Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, and then we're going to argue about the silly game that we all play. Silly little game, that is. Looking for a silly game. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, Bryce. You, I, I'm, I'm sorry we missed the, 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 the Twitter and email thing. You got to text me. I, I did. I, you texted me? Yeah. I did not see a text. Five, 556. It was in the, oh, you know, it oh, was in the group, the group text. text. Yeah, shit. Uh, oh, well. Yeah. It's, it's not time sensitive. Um... No, I know. Well, no, Carl. Carl just texted me, "Plug, plug, plug!" <laughs> like, in the middle of like, I don't know. Again, I mean, again, like it's it's. I, it, I, it very very much feels like I'm just ignoring things and I'm being a dick, and and I probably am. But sometimes it's very hard when you're like like dialed in to like to mm -hmm. get. Yeah. No, don't worry about it. It's. Uh, uh... Uh, yeah, Gambling Man says, with each passing week without a draft, more movies or something. Yeah, I mean, fucking, yes. But there will be, I mean, this is pretty early. This would be pretty early if we started the draft now, right? Well, uh, this is about where we've started it. We, we've often yeah. drafted either We this usually week. get most of October. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, so. So I remember we drafted one year the Monday for whatever reason, I remember that Veronica was going to do it, but then forgot that she had gotten married that weekend and was like on her honeymoon the day that we were <laughs> drafted. So Veronica. So, uh, uh, so I scheduled my wedding then. Sorry. Yeah. I'm shocked that I didn't do that. By the way, schedule like nine. Belmont. Oh, don't go, oh, man! I feel bad. You cleaned that up. I was only setting it there until I could clean it up for you. Now you gotta uh, oh, damn. 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 <sighs> okay. Star Wars. Yeah. So, look. Uh, I, am, I am in the middle. We have two proposals. We got to decide. Do we have the, two uh, proposals on the this? table? What are the proposals? How about uh, we have the, the wise and sage-like uh, uh, benefactor of all of our programs, Time Jumper, make the final ruling. I think that's a fine idea. Okay, so let's uh, commence the arguments. Hear ye, hear ye, with uh, the Council of Movie Draft Minutemen have convened. We have a quorum on the placebo. Um, I know <laughs> words. We have, uh, regarding the matter of the people versus Star Wars, uh, we have two proposals of how to handle a, uh, keep in mind this needs to be, uh, well, well, first of all, before we begin, uh, let us settle the first issue. Uh, previously, we have gone in chronological order. It has been a known order of all the movies. This summer, we suggested that we would like to try to go in random order. Can we get a, 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 a universal official rule change? The Either honorable yay. representative from California would move to accept random order. Uh, okay. Uh, seconded. seconded. Uh, Justin Robert Young. Seconded. Uh, okay, great. So uh, all those in favor of the motion to officially change the movie draft rules to be a random draw from this day forward, say aye. 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 All opposed? So say we all. Uh, second moment, second, boy, this is fun. I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> Second item on the agenda. Is, are there any nays uh, in the This is like the, the first all? time that Brian realized that Robert's Rules of Order actually gives him a fucking boner. <laughs> 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 oh, I, so uh, I have a question about the random then. Is it okay. random pre-announced or is it random on the spot? No, random on the random spot. On the spot. It is okay. unknown yeah. to the participants. That's, oh. that's correct, yeah. Just... Yeah, no, that's, that's, that, that is a good point. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, we have a motion on the table, a clarification of the rules. We should make it very clear that it's random on the spot. The order is not known to any of the players at any time. All in favor? Aye. 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 The motion passes. Second item on the agenda. Uh, regarding, the, uh, regarding official rules in the event that a movie is perceived to have a value greater than $100. Uh, 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 objection. Objection. Yeah. Uh, uh, emergency order, order, order. Uh, the, 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 the bench recognizes the fine gentleman from Ohio. Uh, do we want uh, emergency topic? Do we want to get a music person? 
Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, just in, we, uh, uh, all those in favor of having a musical guest write stingers uh, to receive no pay. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, we now open up the floor to suggestions from the chat realm to uh, suggest who they would like to see to on this. Point of order. Suggest, yes, like, sir. I would like that to be an ongoing suggestion and not delay the proceedings. Uh, the, we can reconnoiter with the chat room on those suggestions later on. The bench recognizes the wisdom of this suggestion. Moving on forward. Well, uh, shit really works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 man, we're getting stuff done. Uh, uh, the, 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 the bench now opens up to proposals to what to do in the event that a movie is perceived to have a value of greater than $100. Uh, does anyone have a suggestion? We have two proposals before the uh, Senate. Uh, the chair recognizes the fine gentleman from Los Angeles. I just know we have two proposals. Does well, anybody okay, know what they are? <laughs> yes, you, there's yours that we talked about on Cord Killers, but Justin has a, a, a counter proposal. Okay, what's mine? Uh, uh, to uh, that once we get to a hundred, bidding continues. Uh, like oh, once okay. somebody says a hundred, that's yours. Somebody else, but I like it. Uh, oh yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay. I fully support and cede my time to Brian to explain the next proposal. Okay, as understood, whenever a movie reaches $100, bidding may continue if people say $100 and 90 uh, percent of gross or 80 percent of gross. or they, Then the bidding continues as people just have a smaller chunk of the gross. Uh, uh, everything else stays exactly the same until equilibrium is achieved. All right, proposal number two, Justin. Uh, I believe that the most fun element of... Uh, the draft is uh, b people being able to follow along with it as easily as possible. Therefore, I believe that the easiest way to cut up this movie is to separate it either in half or into opening weekend and rest of run. I'm ambivalent on whether we do one or the other, but I think a two movie solution effectively is the solution best for Star Wars. I, uh, uh um, I will say that I actually like both solutions. I, I like if we are going to split up the movie, I don't think it should be 50-50 because then you have the problem of you're buying two identical chunks and then you uh, if it, there's no incentive to bid up if you're both going to split Star Wars. Then both because as long as you are the second place bidder, then you would stop way, way early. Uh, and um, so, so I, I'm not a fan of that. However... I do think the head and the tail of the the snake that is box office number one, those are reported separately from box office things. They say this is the opening weekend amount, and then this is the amount minus the you know or the total amount, and it's easy to 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 split those two. So I would strongly strongly suggest that that we amend the proposal to uh, to be a head and a tail separately. Uh, so uh, opening weekend and then remainder of gross. Right, if we are going to break up movies. Uh, okay. Because the, the other thing I like about it is that it means that we've always we've always been playing this way because it, it applies retroactively. We've always been buying the whole movie, which and the whole movie consists of a head and a tail. So the, so the proposal is uh, to have uh, any movie that is uh, feared to outgross everything else, in this case Star Wars, uh, we, we would allow it to be sold as two movies, one for its opening weekend, oh, one for its non-opening weekend. This is a good point, because, um, because if we write the rule that way, then all of a sudden we're making special exemptions for certain uh, movies as they come in. If we want it to be a universally scalable rule, the rule has to be once it hits 100 in the bidding. I Only think, after listen, it hits. What we are what we are looking at here is not necessarily setting precedent for everything. Should this turn out to be something that we don't like the effects of, this is a living, breathing document. We can amend it and and, and take this rule I think, yeah, right I think out. The proposal is like there's no bidding. We just identify it ahead of time and break I, it apart, right, I, Justin? I, I don't like that because it runs into the problem that we had in this movie draft where we we knew, knew for a fact that DTNS ruined the game because they 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 won so hard. And and if we make any rules that start with our expectations before the draft, then we run into the problem of almost certainly being wrong. Whereas, because here's the other thing, if we triggers it, if we trigger it when it hits 100, because there's a possibility because of the random order that, that Star Wars will not go for $100. Well, that's another point of order. Right, uh, is whether Star Wars should be random or we should open with it. <sighs> now we're making special exemptions for that. So now yeah. you're, you're inconsistent in your everything needs to be the same thing logic by 
saying that Star Wars needs to open up. I feel like we've made our arguments. Uh, I would like to recognize the representative from Estonia's proposed amendment to the first proposal saying that a person can bid over their limit at any time, not just 100. That addresses if Star Wars is later and someone only has 80 left. No, but then uh, okay. somebody has nope, nine, because the then you could keep bidding. You, you have right. one dollar and you're like, I'll take one percent of blah for a dollar. That's right. that's that's crazy talk. Um, let's do this. Let's set up a uh, so. So again, to, uh, we'll set up a a, a, a pull pod or a straw pull. And no, I, no, but uh, uh, time jumper was going to decide. Oh, that's right. Wow. Time jumper. What say you? We, we just we just need a call on this. Right? Uh, are we all we're all agreeing that we are we are we are going by time jumpers ruling? <sighs> yeah. Uh, although just for the record, I think that 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 I think that that bidding down to percentages is something that's universally scalable. It will always work. Everything will always um I I, I like that one more because it is the it alters things the least and uh and can continue to work forever. But uh but I defer to time jumper. It's also completely uh, ineffectual if the movie is not the first one that starts because everyone's going to have different numbers. That's correct. At- that's correct. And, and to be honest, that's, that's, also, uh, that's also kind of why I like it uh, because, because it encourages um, – it doesn't have us pushing things forward or skewing things with the rules. Uh, it, it, it will have a little bit of a random roll of the dice. It almost encourages – the random part gives us the chance that Star Wars won't go to 100 – but if it does go to 100, I like the idea that we have a system in place to always be able to bid down. Okay. That also, I mean, the reason why we're coming up with this is because we believe that this is going to blot out the sun. Like, so we are effectively not, if, that, if that's the proposal and everybody buys a $10, $11, $12 movie and then they hold on to everything else and then somebody who just bought the cheapest movie up till then gets Star Wars then we're not going into percentages because everybody doesn't have the same dollar amount uh, and they just buy it and we might as well have done it. We might as well have just left it the same way like, and uh, not worried about it. Like, we're not solving the problem. No, uh, uh, you, you're failing to acknowledge that all players go in knowing that Star Wars is the 800-pound gorilla and there's no chance that, that all six players are going to spend any money on anything. There's going so to be at least more encouraging behavior where people are just letting movies go for zero. You, you, you are, you are building it up. Correct. There, there are going to be people who will decide in advance. I am the, uh, uh the, I am going to play for star Wars or I am not going to play for star Wars and it so will be built into the market pricing. We're happy uh, with in, the behavior of movies going for zero and not being but, a part of the game. Uh, I, again, that won't happen. I, I, I honestly do think we should make Star Wars the first movie, no matter what rule we put in. Like that, we should just acknowledge that that is that is going to uh, that is going to be a difficult thing if it's not the first. I mean, I I, I, I could be okay on that. I could if, if I that, think that if, solves a lot so of other problems. If that, if that gets Justin special, on board, then I'm okay with that. But we're making it just so we're clear. We're making this one thing special, but just not a different kind of special. Just so I'm clear on what yes. you're saying. Special okay, but equal. Good. So we are amending our rules, and we're and we're taking precautions for this thing, but yeah. just in a different way. Yeah. All right. So it's not a universally scalable thing, like you've that, said. That before. is correct. Okay. Uh, although, again, like you know, we we make adjustments all the time with the commissioner. You know, he makes calls and replaces movies and stuff. So to me, I'm I'm Absolutely. categorizing that. But I think that if we're gonna do it, we might as well we might as well just split it uh, because it is going to be special. And we got to treat it special no matter what. All right. Time jumper. Wait, are, uh, did, do we do we all agree that we're going to go with 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 time jumper? Yeah, ruling? yeah. I'm actually okay. on board with either solution. At yeah, this point. I, I think both are fair. Uh, I'm up for time jumper, and uh, I am now on team. Put Star Wars first. I'm okay with that. Okay. Okay. That also isn't what he's deciding. <laughs> I I know I know, but 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 we we all decided on that, right? Yeah, we decided that. So we're saying time jumper. Uh, makes I don't think you should. Knowing be, Star Wars oh, will be the wait, first you, movie. You, you don't, don't think, think Star Wars uh, should be first, Justin? No, I think if we split it up, it should be it should randomly come up, and and you have and you are always randomly in the position of either getting Star oh, Wars. Oh, you're saying I'm okay with that. First, I'm okay with that too. Put it first if we do the percentage bid. But but don't put it first if we do the split it into opening. Uh, yeah, I, I'm okay with I'm exactly okay with what that. you said. Yes, yeah. I'm okay with that too. All right. 
No pressure, time jumper. <laughs> it's, no it, is, it is a debate that has gotten contentious for over two years, and it is now being settled. And by for, the, for the record, I actually feel of, of Diamond Club. I feel pretty good. Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm actually now I'm leaning towards. I'm feeling scientific about it at this point. I'll be honest. Like I feel like I don't have a favorite that I'm going to be interested to see how it works whichever way we go. I would say like we're going to learn something either way. Right now in my gut, I want it all to be random and I want it to be split into a head and a tail. Oh, uh, and that, I, I think that is the most universal. Uh, of, I, I'm now on Team Justin now. In my, how in my gut. many times has Brian changed his mind just in the well, last? This is this is what happens when you're when you're relatively okay with both. I proposals. think we shouldn't change any. No, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Time jumper. You're ruling. I've been listening to this argument since it started, and I've always leaned towards the percentage scalability of if anything hits 100, and if people decide they want to wait out for that, then they hold their money and start bidding down percentages. Um, because then it is part of the strategy of if it comes up random, when... Oh, man. Time Jumper's mic went out. I guess we'll never know <laughs> what happened. Oh, geez. We're just, uh... You know, it's a shame because we waited so long. <laughs> Boo this man! <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. I'll, 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 I'll abide with the ruling. Uh, you know, I think it's confusing, but whatever. It's fine. So, uh... What about? Uh, I, I really don't think it's confusing. I think you know, multiply times 0. 0.5, and you have your. No, I don't think value. it's confusing for us. I think it's confusing for other people. Like, uh, I think it, it turns this more into a private fantasy league and less of a public show. Like that's that's always just been my issue with it. Is like All that right. that's a great thing for like a private league, you know. But it's not. It's like. So wait, why is this? He's got Star Wars. Why does he not have this full amount of Star Wars? Like, uh, I've always found that confusing. But the decision's been made. No more complaining about it. That's what we're doing. And and we're all on the same page as far as starting the the bidding with Star Wars from the beginning. Yep. Yes, I am for making Star Wars special and 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 having it not be a universe. Okay, right. great. Hey, look at that. We settled. We have a ruling. <laughs> Woo! So say we all. We do have one last thing to decide: is who we would like to ask to be our musical guest. So I've I've compiled a list, the names ah, of the musicians that that Chout Realm has suggested. I'm just going to go down in in no particular order, okay? And just okay. like yay or nay. All right, ACDC. <laughs> uh, so I'm for that. I, in I'm favor. For that. In yeah. favor. Favor. Uh, uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I am even more in favor that. Remember the yeah. dead body question? Uh, Dr. Dre. He's a yeah. genius. No. Great. Love him. Big fan. Yeah. No. Uh, the boss, Bruce Springsteen. Yep. Oh, uh, he, he, you know he's going to feel a working a class. Uh, he's not faux. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean like the Vietnamese suit? No. <laughs> uh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Christ. I'm assuming so. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I uh, love his work. Okay, uh, uh, okay. So, so, so the ideas have been uh, GMC Faux Show, MC Allergy, Tay Allen, Ali Gertz, Ali Spagnola, Old John Smokey, wherever he is, and Mike TV. Ah, uh, now we do have Ali booked for two weeks from now, and that might be a lot to throw on her plate, though. But, okay. Uh, oh yeah, because she kind of has a Kickstarter. I mean, going. to be honest, it boils down to whoever will do it, right? Exactly. I mean, I Let's mean, why don't why don't we? Which one of those people will do it on the day of the draft? Right. Why don't we? Why don't we politely ask Allie when we see her at the meetup tonight and see if she's interested or if that's a lot of work for her? But uh, maybe that she's interested. She's done it before, I think. Right. Yeah. She, yeah. she, she was the original. Yeah. She was the first. Um, she was okay. the first musical guest well, on the movie. Keep me posted on that. Yeah. Okay. We'll do. All right. Now. <sighs> yeah. We also do need to set a day, but we can figure that out. Uh, well, it, it matters because we've got to figure out what the, uh, what movies are in because I, we traditionally have had a few Halloween movies. I would love yeah. it if maybe two weeks, two weeks from this Tuesday. Yeah. Is right? Right? No, no. Don't we normally do it on, on, uh, on your, your thing on for the winter? Uh, we usually do it. Oh, we don't do it on as, cord killers. We, we can do it in spoiler in time. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That'll be the spoiler in time segment. Yeah, I think oh, that's okay. what we did last year. Okay. And and we'll have six individual players, uh, not teams. Now, Gambling Man says if it's not next week, we won't get the Martian in the list. But oh shit! Nope. Nope. Okay. Ah, oh, it's got to be next week. Oh shit! It's yeah. official. It's I'm, a. I'm wait. Wait. Is next week four days from now? Is it in four days? Yeah. Oh boy. Maybe we'll drop a musical guest. Because we'll keep it, because uh, it's only going to be in spoiler in time. It won't be seen as much as Whatever Night Attack. Whatever musical guest could make it next Monday, I guess. Uh, we could, yeah, we could just ask Mike TV to come in. I mean, uh, Mike. I mean, Mike good. TV is 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 the guy. We could ask Mike TV the morning of, and he would write yeah, fucking that's the solution. Twenty Grammy winning songs by the time that we started. Yeah. Do we also okay. have Do we also have the participant roster settled? Nope. So we got the three of us. Um, what? Champion. We should we throw out a, let's throw out an email. Yeah, we we got uh, we'll, 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 Christy and we'll, Milongo have to return for defense, right? No. Well, I guess not for defense. Yeah, but they should he, be here's in. what I say. Um, uh, we have an email, and basically it'll become first serve, uh, first come first serve for who wants to do it. But I mean, you know, all the usual suspects. Like, and the good news is it won't be on Tuesday, so all of our movie guys. You know what? That's who we should hit up. Is we should hit up like uh, Peter Serretta from Slash Film, Jeff Kanata, all those people who have are never able to do Night Attack because. They're uh, uh, they're out screeners on Tuesdays, yeah, yeah. Uh, Padre, uh, I would love to see again. So, so we we'll, need we'll start we need that. one of we we, we got to give us a, a spot to to Malongo and uh, and, and, and and Team Cord Killers, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Too. Okay, well that's two slots though, or unless no, they'll play. No, let them pair them up. Like they oh, weren't okay. supposed pair to be there. All right. Christy, teams. Chris, Christy and Milongo <laughs> as champions get to get to have a slot, so that's two slots open. So we'll hit up uh, 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 Slash Film and uh, uh, Jeff Kanata and see. It, well, uh, we could do the teams. Okay, yeah, no, that's if true. We, I'm just saying that flexible option. We can yeah. call it uh, uh, whatever sponsor you have. Squarespace. Yeah, Squarespace change of plans. Yeah, uh, I, I do like in general. I, I like the different dynamic of of the of, of it not being teams on on in the winter draft but winter. Okay. I, I, I agree that's, that's if, we're, if we're up to our asshole in, in people that want to play then we, we might as well do teams carried motion carried um, up to my asshole in people <laughs> i mean it's a, it's a high watermark um oh veronica too oh yeah cargill Veronica Bell. Well, but you, you just want to listen to Cargill talk about how he's best friends with everybody and like, oh my God, I've already seen it. And it's great. And anyway, the remix or the, the, the complete so remake of like about... Water for Chocolate is going to make all the money on the planet. Star talk... Wars does not have a single chance. We're talking about Monday, September 28th, right? Uh, let me look yeah. at the Microsoft calendar. Yes. Uh, Whiskey Wells says Cargo loves that name dropping. No, Cargo just likes talking about people that he knows. He just knows everybody famous on it's the planet. It's not name dropping uh, if you really know. Yeah, that. It's, it's still kind of. He loves talking about people who are famous that he knows. How about that? Is that a factually accurate statement? Uh, listen, all I'm saying is that he is legitimately about that life. Like, yes. Like, well, he also has been living that life for the 20 or 15 years that I've known him. He has always been the guy. Even in the year 2002, he, he would casually talk about, you know, uh, all, of his, all of his friends who happen to be famous. Anyway, Wes Anderson comes up to me and he says, <laughs> well, you know, and, and that's the thing about Wes Anderson's movies is that people don't get them the way that I get them. And that's what I told him when we were hanging out having coffee this morning. <laughs> all right, you, that's Rick. Your Cargill is Rick, also. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, the, the only difference between Cargill and Rick is that Rick stutters. <laughs> he stumbles. He's like, oh, I was, I was, I was uh, hanging out with, with Wes Anderson? I was sitting there having, having some coffee? Uh, but Brian, I don't know Wes Anderson. Yeah, uh, why don't you... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, one last thing before, uh, before we let you go, Justin. Uh, show titles. Uh... Uh, we got Netflix and chill. We can, <laughs> yeah, Netflix and chill. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, Night Attack and chill. Uh, Actually, Night, like Attack Night Attack and, and chill because I like the idea of somebody fucking while we're yelling. Okay. Oh, dude, we should put the call out for it. Of of get. I want an e. I want. I want to know if anyone has had sex while we were talking. We've heard something about our, our, our songs randomly coming on during sex. <laughs> yeah, yes, we? but I want to know if anybody turns on Night Attack and then ends up fucking while they listen to our stupid voices. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, anyway, Abraham Lincoln is secretly gay. 
<laughs> uh, MacBook Pro said Hulu and anal, which I can only imagine is like <laughs> reading a book and taking a bath. Like it's like, like it's not it's not Hulu and chill. That would be fucking Hulu and anal is like doing your taxes. That's like work. Sure. Yeah. Captain Fubar in all caps goes. Does it count if there was only one? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> you jerked off listening. Oh no, but there's no doubt people have jerked off listening or watching us. That's obvious. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, Amazon right. TV and Doggy Style. All right. I I, uh, I love you guys. I'll talk to you. And everyone's like Doggy Style and fisting. No, that's not. You, you can't say the thing. It's right. not like it has to be like Hulu and Hang. Exactly. Or, uh, uh, it's not uh, like like making Whoopi is not like fist fucking the asshole. Have a heart to this, fuckers. Uh, yeah. Anyway, all right. I love you guys. Peace out. All right. Bye, Justin. Bye, guys. I'm going to record behind the scam. Yeah, so thank I'll you. Catch you guys later. All right, then let's call it for uh, this. Oh, uh, uh, hey, real quick, uh, Bryce, uh, the plan on that is um, I, got your uh, I don't know if you got my message. Yes, I did. did you? Yes. Okay. That sounds great. great. Um, awesome. All right. Goodbye, Bye. everybody.